Where is the microphone on this thing? I don't know where to get closer or further. So this is going to be my intro, guys. And what? I don't know. I just don't know. All right. I got myself together. Okay, guys. I got it. I got it. So we already have our foundation on. I am going in with both of these concealers and we are going to conceal our dark bags. So the one thing I really like to do when I go to the airport is make sure I look woke because you don't know which celebrities you are going to see when you go to the airport. And I go to a very popular airport. And if I see some rappers, I'm getting a picture and I'm not gonna look crazy, okay? So the first tip I have this is a real tip, guys. You are going to bake your under eyes. And you want to leave this baking powder. Milani is very good. This is transparent. You want to leave that baking powder under your eyes. And in the T-zones, wherever your face is oily the most, you want to put that baking powder right. Baking powder, Jesus Christ. The setting powder there. So I did that. Now I'm going to go in with my transparent matte powder that I always use. And I'm just going to go over the other spots where I didn't put the powder just to make sure my foundation is going to stay put. So you really want to make sure your foundation is going to stay in one place because if you are on a flight for a very long time, honestly, even if you're on there for a short period of time, I don't know about you guys, but my face gets really oily. Like like abnormally oily because I'm on this plane. I don't know if it's because the lack of air, the lack of oxygen, because we're just in the pl on the plane or whatever it is in the sky that's causing this. Do you guys hear that sound? Does that not sound scary? What in the world? Anyways, back to this foundation. So you want to bake <laughs> your face. Brian, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, Look, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm recording. Oh my God, you're ruining this video. So now you want to go back in with, the, that was my brother, guys, more baking powder. So I'm going in with baking powder for a second time, even though I already baked my face the first time. I'm And this time in particular, I am using the same powder and placing it on top again and leaving there for longer. And of course, you know, you got to do all your other stuff. Um, contour Lenos. I sped up most of these clips because it's taking a bit of time. Um, just, I don't want you guys to sit here and watch like a longest video unless you guys want to. I'm going in with my Morphe palette and we're taking both of these colors and mixing these mother effers up and placing this in our crease. So for this look, I'm I'm going for a natural, but also cute. You want to bring out your features just in case you run into a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Because if you run into a celebrity, you don't want to look crazy. And I'm trying to run into The Bachelor and meet Pilot Pete and marry the F out of him. Okay? And I can't be looking crusty 4 a.m. in the morning. Well, you know, yeah, who knows? You might, you might run into him. So I'm just not trying to look crusty, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to do a whole face but also keep it natural whole face. All right? So we're going to blend this out. Keep on blending and blending and blending and blending until it looks delicious. Now I'm going to take these two shimmery colors right here and we're going to pop these on our lid. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say right now. Um, yeah, so just pop it on your lid. <laughs> Guys, I got a new laptop and it's amazing. I love using this laptop. I'm just still figuring out some stuff and I'm just going to keep this video 100% genuine because I'm still trying to figure out how to edit. It sounds like I had three cups of coffee, which I only had one and it was an espresso. So I'm wired right now and it sounds like I'm on Coke, but I'm not. I promise it's just coffee. Anyways, back to this look. We are going to place a little bit of this shallow, sh sh shadow underneath our, underneath on our lower lash line. 
get it together. I didn't go to college for no reason. Okay, you guys, you guys see it, you know, you see it. Okay, and then, I don't know what I'm singing. I'm pre pretty sure it's The weekend. And if you hear that sound in the background, that's my freaking laptop hard drive turning up. So now I'm going to take this very fluffy brush right here and we are going to remove all of the setting powder that we placed earlier. I'm going to take a little bit um, of a denser brush right here and kind of blend out that contour I did a little bit earlier so I don't look crazy. Well, you know, at least any more crazy because you girl always been looking crazy all the time. And this is my new favorite liner, you guys, Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. I prefer to buy the sample size because these tend to dry out a bit fast. Now, this is waterproof, which makes it 10 times better. So if you cry, if your boyfriend breaks up with you, your eyeliner will still stay put. Or, yeah, we're not going we're we're to take it to a different level. So <laughs> this is my new favorite liner right here. Um, if you guys have enjoyed, if you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. I used to have, what is it called? NYC liquid liner for the longest time, but they discontinued that, which is unfortunate because I can't even find it on Amazon. Um, RIP to NYC. I don't know why they discontinued it, but they did. So there's that so let's go ahead and take a moment of silence for nyc liner all right anyways back to this we are going to curl our lashes and i'm gonna place on some of l'oreal mascara it is traditional um regular what am i screaming at over there your girl is crazy Now we are still putting on our mascara. Oh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> I was not expecting that um, in the middle of this recording, but yeah. So I'm going to pop on these lashes right here. These are just some wrinkly, dinkly lashes I got offline. Nothing special. I don't like putting out a ton of money for lashes, so I'm just going to pick whatever looks cute and not look completely fake and still make my eyes pop yeah so how is everybody's year i really don't think 2020 is effing with us because first um you know world war three was gonna start and then the coronavirus and then freaking kb die you know guys that shit is so sad because I was at work and I was watching these interviews or people um, giving their tribute to KB and his passing. And it's just so sad because it's like, if you really think about what is going on with his family and his passing, it's just so sad. And not to dim the light on the other people who passed away that's really sad too so i was just watching these interviews when i was at work and i end up crying at work and i had to suck my tears back up before i called my patients back how sad it's just ugh, you know i'm praying for them it's sad it's just this tragic story freak accident well i mean i guess it's not technically a freak accident anyways so now I'm going to use this Maybelline concealer to clean up my brows. Um, for this part, I did cut off quite a bit because cleaning up the brows take a hot minute. So you guys take your time when you conceal your brows to make them look very nice. Don't think that it, it took me like two seconds to do it because it didn't. It actually took quite a bit of time. Honestly, the train just choo-chooed. You get, you guys freaking hear that? And then my nephew is downstairs crying. This recording is just the most genuine recording of all time. Anyways, oh, oh, right here, guys. Oops. Well, 
when I went over my shadow a little bit just then, I wanted to blend my shadow in just a little bit more because when you conceal, you can kind of see where the concealer basically lined out. So I went back in with the shadow just a little bit to add it back, but you don't want to you don't want to dip it back into the shadow palette. You just want to brush it over with the brush that you already have. So I'm going to take this NYC Wonder Pencil. This is in Nude just to add a little bit of um, liner in my waterline to open my eyes up a little bit because you know your girl is, uh, she, she's Asian, you know? So, yeah. And I use a little pencil to kind of open the lids down a little bit because I don't want my fingers to smudge makeup. That's why I use a little tool. We're going to take Hustler Baby by Fenty Beauty and we're popping that on our cheekbones, both sides, and also popping that on our nose. Bow, bow. And I'm going to use my finger to pack it in the inner corner of my eyeballs. Bow, bow. And voila. The last part, you guys know the deal. I use Candy K Lip Liner for everything, and I have a little bit left because I refuse to buy any more of Candy K uh, lip pencils because they're freaking expensive and unless they're sold singled. Like me. And I'm going to take this gloss right here, pop it on this gloss to keep this natural look for the airport. Before my hard drive wings up again, or gets riled up and you guys can hear it i'm gonna wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next one